I thought it would be a good idea to list a few, few things and people that I know that are rolling in their graves, either from cackling, laughing, or crying. I'm gonna start with the best one by far, which is, do you know who said, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? It's not from the song that I forgot who was from. She doesn't. She didn't say that. It wasn't her, the first person to say that. You know where the quote comes from? Frederick fucking Nietzsche. Imagine that guy hearing his song, hearing this song. Okay, I'm back. But I just want to imagine Nietzsche. This guy right here. This guy, all serious and hates everything, hearing his quote on a pop song. I'll just let that sink in. The second person is my favorite. I spent an hour on Tumblr looking for this specific post, but I couldn't find it. But I'm gonna link another one below because it says something along those lines I wanted to say, but it's not the one I was looking for. So, Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, it's a comedy. In this, uh, in, in this site, it says that, like, comedy on Shakespeare's time was different from our com kind of comedy. So, Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, is Shakespeare making fun of a 14 year old and a 17 year old, 17 year old who think they're in love with each other. The biggest love story of all time and so tragic is a joke. And I'm not just saying like Romeo and Juliet. Every time he, say, he says sword in any, any of his plays, he means dick. Like I'm not joking. They pull out their swords. Every time Shakespeare says sword, it's a penis joke. Every time he says pears, I think in Romeo and Juliet he says it quite a few times. A vaginas or penises again, I can't remember. Wonder how it must be for him and his grave dead. Uh, that like he's the most respected playwright and study in all universities and He's the top author of everything. All he did was make penis jokes. <laughs> you know the phrase, uh, some are born great, some have greatness thrusted upon them? Yeah, it's a penis joke. <laughs> like... So I was looking for uh, cross-dressing literature to look for a character's name like Mulan, like girls dressing as boys to be more respected and whatever. And I came across this, okay. In the kingdom of Illyria, a nobleman named Orsino lies around listening to music, painting away the love of a lady Olivia. He cannot have her because she's in a mourning for her dead brother and refuses to entertain any proposals of marriage. Meanwhile, off coast, a storm has caused a shipwreck. A young aristocratic born woman named Viola is swept on the Illyrian shore. Finding herself alone in a strange land, she assumes that her twin brother, Sebastian, has been drowned in a shipwreck and tries to figure out something to do. Viola decides to disguise herself as a man, taking on the name Casirio, and goes to work in household with Duke. Viola quickly becomes favorite of Orsino, who makes Sebastian or Cesario, that's the fake name she uses. Viola finds herself falling in love with Duke, a difficult love to pursue as Duke believes she, she is a man. But when Duke sends Cesario to deliver Duke's love message to Olivia, Olivia herself falls in love with Cesario. 
also known as Viola. The, tri the love triangle is complete. Viola loves her Duke, Duke loves Olivia, Olivia loves Cesario, Viola, and everyone is miserable. Skipping to the end scene. Eventually, Viola disguises Cesario and Duke make their way to Olivia's house, where Olivia welcomes Cesario as her husband, thinking him to be Sebastian. Because before this, Sebastian was alive, and Olivia saw him and proposed to him, and they, he agreed to marry her because she was very pretty. So, Viola dressed as Cesario shows up, and they're going to get married because Sebastian said yes. And Duke is furious. Then Sebastian himself appears and everything is revealed. So the siblings get to get uh, re are we reunited. Viola gets Duke and Olivia gets Sebastian. And and also also there's a guy called Malvolio who knew the tr truth and was trying to get Viola in trouble because he knew the truth. Like, do I need to write that out? Because as I was reading, I was like, holy cow I couldn't believe it that she's the man is a Shakespeare play he would be so proud of it I mean really <laughs> I think he'd be very satisfied with the play especially the with the movie especially with the part where they show their genitals in the middle of a soccer field and it's amazing everybody should see this movie and it's just Shakespeare play, so you're just, just another chick flick. It's a Shakespeare play. So, you can tell them, people who think they're high culture, that you're watching Shakespeare. Okay? Okay. And those high culture people are just reading penis jokes. That's what I had to say. <laughs> Disclaimer, I'm not saying Shakespeare is not a genius. He is, he wrote, like, it's good what he wrote. I'm not saying it's shit, it's just funny because you got it. And Nietzsche, I think Nietzsche is a genius. And when my teacher said that it was his quote, what does in Q makes you stronger, I had to stop and breathe. So I hope you enjoyed the little storytelling, I don't know what it was. I probably left a bunch of stuff out, so if you know any fun facts like these, put them in the conversation below. So we can all know funny facts. And bye!